Hello, Quantum Darkness here. I'm doing yet another tutorial on pencil animation. Uh, this particular one is about how to get an output out of Windows. Uh, pencil is beta software and there's uh, lots of stuff wrong with it and one of the things is, is uh, it's hard to uh, get an output. There's several ways you're supposed to be able to get an output and in Windows it uh, doesn't work. Uh, the only way I've been able to get it to work is to use um, the um, uh, image sequence, output an image sequence, and then you load the image sequence into a video program. And in my case, I'm using Blender. Uh, Blender is also a free program, so anybody watching this uh, uh, should be able to do this. So it, it's straightforward, but there are a couple of little stumbling blocks. Uh, so let me show you here. Uh, I've got a layer called gray background and the reason for that is uh, on the image sequence uh, you get a, a sequence of PNG files and PNG files are transparent and what happens is is that everything all of the uh, white space is uh, transparent and it doesn't show up in Blender all you get is black and you can't really see the outline of the uh, fish on uh, against black so if if you don't have uh, any full colored backgrounds uh, you're not going to be able to see anything. So what I did here was uh, I filled in. I got a. I have a temporary background for the animatic, and I I filled. I, I drew, drew a box and filled it in with gray. Now, if you want to, now if your final animation is just going to be uh, pencil drawings and you want it to look like it does in pencil with a white background, you can uh, fill this with white. Uh, the white will be a, a real color not a transparent color if you if you fill it that way so that when you uh, load it into blender it'll look like it does in pencil I'm going to double click this uh, go back to the default double click the hand symbol there um, the camera layer has to be selected now if you're if you're doing it without a camera layer uh, I don't know uh, what happens all of the uh, animations I've done is use the camera for uh, zooming or panning or something like that so uh, I know that if you don't have the camera layer selected when you do the output it's not going to get any of uh, of your pans or zooms so uh, it's, it's not going to be it might not even be framed correctly so um, I'm going to double click on the camera layer to show you that it, I've got it set at 1024 by 600 you can uh, go in there and, and change it to whatever size you want and if you're not on the camera layer uh, before it outputs it'll uh, I'll, I'll show you that later it'll output the wrong size and that's uh, will alert you that you probably don't have the camera layer selected now this is um, the version uh, 0.5 uh, which I'll, I'll have a link in the description uh, how you can download that uh, 4.4 which is the uh, default right now uh, if you go to the website that's I think that's the only thing uh, that it points you to is 4.4 I don't know where the um, image sequence is in the menus on 4.4 I think it might be different but in point five it's under file uh, export image sequence uh, point 0.5 doesn't remember where you save stuff like a point 0.4 does so I'm just going to uh, get there as fast as I can well, I have a folder called image sequences uh, S1R6 is my most recent one that is section 1 revision 6 I'm, I've got three sections of video here I broke the animation up into three sections so I'll create a new folder called uh, image seek S1R7 I'll change this name 
You could just use untitled, but um, it's one R7, and I'll put a space after it because um, pencil is going to put a number after that, and it makes it easier to read, and so you can see which revision you're on. Uh, it's uh, saved me from uh, accidentally uploading the old sequence uh, several times, so that's actually uh, it might save you a little bit of time. Okay, let's hit save. Uh, this is where it comes up, and uh, if you look at the size there and it's the wrong size, you know that you um, aren't you don't have the camera layer selected, so that uh, uh, you know to to go back and redo it. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and hit, hit OK, and it takes uh, my computer several minutes. And also up here at the top, it usually says uh, not responding, uh, which if it does that, uh, don't panic. It's supposed to do that. So while it's outputting now, I'll um, I'll in in the the uh, Cam Studio and go back go to uh, Blender, and we'll pick it up there. Okay, I've got Blender pulled up here. Uh, I'll go through this as quick as I can. Uh, there's another video tutorial which is uh, very good. It's how I figured out how to do this. Uh, I would recommend that you watch that video tutorial. And I'll put a link in the description and hopefully there'll be an annotation. Let's get started here. Uh, up here where it says default, uh, we'll choose the video editing mode and there's your video editor and I'll just go straight down here to the uh, add menu down here on the bottom pick image um, I'm gonna go to a uh, recent there we go image actually image sequences there we go okay so this is the the files um, I'm going to Put the letter A on the keyboard for select all, add image sequence, and there it is. I uh, forgot to do a couple of things, but uh, that's okay. I'll right click on it to select and uh, hit uh, G for grab, and I'll just move it over, move it up uh, to where I want it. And that is uh, frame one, starting it at frame one. Okay. Uh, there's also some sound that goes with this, so I'll go get the sound. Um, there we go. There's the sound. This time I'm going to um, go down here and select the start frame at uh, frame 1. So I won't have to reposition it. And there you go. And let's play that in the editor. A fish swims along, and bam, a mutation. Deep inside the fish, one of the eggs being formed has a mistake in the DNA. Now up here in the uh, video window, you saw that nothing was uh, happening there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to playback, and I'm going to select frame dropping. And what that does is that... Um, keeps the video and audio in sync by if your computer is uh, too slow to run blender and everything uh, then what it'll do is it'll drop video frames to keep uh, keep them synced up as best as possible so I'll run it again years ago a fish swims along and bam and there you can see when it said BAM that the, the, the image changed. Another thing I'll do is I'll go up here and I'll put audio scrubbing on, which... So that when you move the cursor, you can hear... So that helps you sync up your uh, audio and your video. Okay. All I'll do now, let's see. I want to see everything, so I'm going to say view all sequences. Um, and I'll just go out to the uh, end of the video. I've got a little bit more audio than that, but um, I'll see where 
just using one of the arrow keys on my keyboard uh, found the last frame it's at 700 I'll go over here there's a start and end on the end I'll put 700 there and uh, so that's the end of that sequence and that's uh, all I'm going to render right now okay um, right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the uh, properties window and that's the properties uh, that I'll need for rendering I've already got uh, in, under dimensions I've got uh, HD TV 720 selected and I'll go down here to uh, output um, Blender output. I've already got a file there for that. Okay. And that comes up there. And also under output, I'm going to choose MPEG. And under encoding, I'm going to, um, just to kind of get me started, I'm going to choose the uh, H264 which uh, sets up a lot of things that a lot of, most of it I don't understand but I'm going to uh, change it to uh, MPEG-4 I'll change the audio codec to uh, AAC and we should be ready to go uh, you can click on this or go up here in the uh, menu and say render animation and it's rendering and you can see down here that um, Let's see, there we go. Oops, overshot a little bit. You can uh, see what frame it's on as it's rendering. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Go watch that other video. Um, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.